what's going on. You know who it is. You, you know what it is. All right, you guys. Man, I decided to play hooky for work. So I'm going to ride the bar to San Francisco, just hang out in San Francisco and shit, maybe go eat at Fisherman's Wharf or something. But, you know, I decided to catch uh, Bart out there because driving and parking in San Francisco just it's just too much of a headache and it's just too stressful. So, you know, um, I just decided to just catch Bart to San Francisco, hang out in the city. Maybe I'll go by the... Uh, go by the completed Chase Center, see what the Chase Center looked like from the outside, all right, but nevertheless, um, let's just talk about something that also happened on Saturday, it was, uh, it was funny, you know, at the end of the day, I keep telling you guys, y'all need to really stop listening to people who sit up there and make fights about who's promoting the fights instead of trying to push for the fight to happen, saying that somebody need to go to here and they need to go there. At the end of the day, man, um, them dudes, like I say, don't be knowing what the hell they be talking about. But now, look, I saw something that was hilarious, and it was just funny. Like, sometimes when you come with a quote, you know, when you come with a great quote, or when you come with a quote, you got to understand people going to mimic it no matter what. They going to use it either for you or against you. Now, in case you guys don't know, Errol Spence uh, was seated next to Terrence Crawford, you know, seated in front of him. So basically, you know, Errol Spence, um, you know, he pretty much uh, didn't really want to encounter Bud. And at the end of the day, he didn't say nothing to Bud really, except he tweeted basically saying who sat me next to all these top ranked niggas once again here we go with the gang gang shit like i said this ain't about no gang this is about basically trying to make the best fights out there for the fans so we can enjoy it you know what i'm saying you signed up for this so stop making it about who promoting the fight or who shouldn't be promoting the fight so you know at the end of the day i thought it was funny that Errol spence uh tweeted that comment basically who set me next to all these top ranked niggas and then bud came back with the well we had to find some way to get you to cross the street at the end of the day bud is trying to get this fight people are trying to get this fight made like i said bud versus Errol Spence need to be made this year no later than january while the fight is at its peak you've seen the events surrounding Deontay Wilder, Tyson Fury. So why can't we have the same thing? Why we got to hear all these excuses? Now, I understand if Errol Spence want to get a tune-up fight in, but at the end of the day, man, you know, you're going to have people that's going to cape for Errol Spence no matter what, and his fans is going to defend him no matter what. At the end of the day, um, we need to get the best fights out there made. You know what I'm saying? And I want to say to somebody that accused me saying, dang, you really hate Al Heyman? I don't know Al Heyman. I don't hate Al Heyman. I don't know Al Heyman. But at the end of the day, I told you, I'm going to criticize everybody. I didn't criticize everybody from Bob Arum to Eddie Hearn. To, and Al Heyman is not exempt from um, getting criticized because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, whether people like it or not, he part of the problem. He part of the problem, and he makes some of his fighters look bad. He makes a lot of his fighters look like liars, and it just got to be said. At the end of the day, man, it's just time for this fight to happen. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, you know what I'm saying? I'm not anti-Aero Spence, and I just said that. I'm not anti-Bud. I'm not pro-Bud. I'm just calling it how I see it. Right now, it looks like one person is pushing for the fight more than the next, and it don't matter, like, like it don't matter who you know who basically on opposite sides of who you agree with or opposite sides of where you want to do the finger pointing that's them you know what i'm saying i'm gonna tell it from my perspective like i told you i'm my own man and I, I'm, I'm gonna tell my truth and what i believe and you finna see that tonight because i got more uh i got more videos that i need to you know, put out and discuss because the truth got to be told, man, about certain shit and how um, certain moves that are being made that's just not good for boxing 
not good for the fans, not good for the people. I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm a reporter slash media person that's for the people. I ain't for the promotional companies. And I'm going to continue to say that. And I'm not going to be sitting up here kissing people's pinky rings and shit. Because like I said, at the end of the day, I don't cover boxing no more. So I don't have to watch what I say. I don't have to kiss these dudes' ass no more because I want interviews. Been there, done that. At the end of the day, people looking funny right now. The opposite side of the street just looking real funny right now. You know what I'm saying? It, in, in the PBC looking real funny right now about certain moves they make because it's looking like they the ones that's holding up the fight no matter how much people sit up here and you know basically kiss Al Hamer's ass the truth just gotta be told but I found it funny in regards to what Bud had to say I find it very funny so hopefully you know more pressure will be applied to get this fight made and it need to be made. This is your boy Town Biz. I'm out.